Like love itself, betrayal takes many forms, be it a tryst in the marital home, which was revealed to the world by this doorbell cam. What an idiot. Or a multinational web of bigamy and fraud that breaks not only hearts, but bank accounts and lives as well. And speaking of hearts, not all the damage here is emotional or financial. What some call broken heart syndrome is a real thing, and it can be lethal. I'm joined now by three women with hard-won insights on all of this. Mary Turner Thompson on the left here had been married for four years to the man of her dreams when she found out he had another wife, another five fiancés, and, well, a total so far of 13 children. Her latest book is called The Psychopath, and it is great reading. Kaylee Christina discovered her husband was cheating last fall when she took a look at their ring doorbell cam while she was on the family vacation he was too sick to attend and captured him bidding farewell to a scantily clad woman who was not Kaylee. She posted the clip on TikTok with the caption, aptly, when your husband is too sick to go on the family trip you planned. A few days later, she posted, uh, locks have been changed and he no longer resides here. Needless to say, those went viral. We're also joined on the far right by Sharon Hayes, the founder of the Women's Heart Clinic at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. So welcome to all three of you. Mary, I'll begin with you. Um, the story that I just recounted before the break had even our control room producers sort of drop, you know, dropping their jaws and saying that can't be true. It really does feel like it can't be true, but it is. I'm wondering, I mean, you wrote the, the you know, Psychopath and before that, The, the Bigamist, and, and these are popular books about this ordeal, and people have been coming out of the woodwork. Do you have a, a latest count on how many women he has swindled and if he's still out there doing it do you do you have any idea like where he is uh yeah i've got a rough idea he's um <clears throat> excuse me he's uh i believe somewhere in the kind of new jersey area um he's we know of 14 children now uh the youngest is about three years old uh born to a 19 year old in new jersey um and uh yeah he's he's still at it he never will stop uh, I mean, that, that's what he does. <laughs> so, I mean, he just, um, he just sounds like a serial predator. And, you yeah. know, to think that he's just kind of free to ply his trade in the New Jersey area yeah. or anywhere, you know, around the world. Um, how is it that they can't catch up with him and put a stop to this? Because this, is, this isn't just cute love. This is damaging. It's mm. financial destruction. It's emotional harm. There can be yeah. a lot that comes from this. And then there are all these children at risk as well. Yeah. I mean, it's emotional terrorism, what he does. Um, and it, he, the, the reason it can't be stopped, it's so difficult to stop him, is the fact that he sails very, very close to the wind um, in legal terms. So, for instance, when, when it first came to court here in the UK, um, it is not actually illegal to defraud your own wife in the UK. Um, oh. So he didn't actually he didn't actually get done for for the money he took from me. Uh, he got That's done for the big me and the fraud and, and other things. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, three a.m. in the morning. So, my, <laughs> my I, and I so up, appreciate like. you getting up in the middle of the night overseas, and thank you for that. So let me ask you, Kaylee. When when I saw the the video, mm -hmm. I just couldn't imagine the moment you saw it for the first time. Yeah. Um, and, and what you went through, there's just so much to process. You know, you're a, a mom of, of two kids, seven and, and three years old, and boom, mm -hmm. your whole life is kind of blowing up in, in front of you. Were there any red flags or anything beforehand that led you to think this might be possible, or was this just an utter gut punch? Um, I kind of had this gut feeling, this intuition that there was something off, but when I would say, express that out loud, he would just say, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about, but he started acting jumpy with his phone. We go on family walks and he wouldn't go on them anymore. Um, so that's pretty much, I mean, I had a gut feeling, but other than that, I didn't have proof until I saw the ring footage. 
Yeah. And, and of course, that's the playbook, right? Just gaslight right. you. If you dare to, to question, it's your fault. You're the idiot. You're the crazy one, right? That's typically right. how it works. Um, yeah. So I do have this question about like, I don't know if you knew this was going to, you know, go viral, but did, how mm -hmm. have you been able to insulate your kids against it? Um, I've been very careful. I don't film any TikToks about it if they're home. Um, I try to just keep our life as normal as it was before everything kind of blew up. Yeah, it's it's hard. I mean, listen, there's there's a lot at stake, right? Um, that's why there's so many emotions that fly through when you are confronted with this reality. Uh, Dr. Hayes, the, you know, I, I called it that cute little expression, right? Broken heart syndrome, which gets all the press and the headlines and all the rest. And and you are are you're one of those people who says that it's really a bad term because it makes light of something that's very, very real. Can you explain what's very real about this broken heart syndrome? So the, I, I will just say that the women on this show have experienced truly heartbreaking experiences. And what we know, and particularly among women, is that acute and chronic stress can lead to types of heart attacks that are much more common in women. And one is called stress cardiomyopathy, which is also known as Takotsubo and, and broken heart. And another is when an artery actually tears and causes a heart attack called spontaneous coronary artery dissection. So these are often triggered by emotional stress, anger, fear, tragedy, uh, you know, COVID, and all of the things and the fears that go along with that. And when patients of mine talk about what was happening in the days or the day or the weeks before they experienced these events, some of them have said, I was going through my most stressful period in my entire life. Makes perfect sense. Mary, do you, you know, are you watching out for your, your physical health? Hearing what you just heard from Dr. Hayes, I mean, that's, You've been through hell and back, um, and there's got to be some residual pain from that. Have you have you been careful about your physical health too? Uh, yeah, well, I, I became a black belt in Taekwondo in 2010. Uh, I figured Attagirl. if I was ever going <laughs> to open the door to him again, I needed to know how to defend myself. Um, so I'm quite fit, but uh, I also, um, writing the book is the most cathartic thing you can ever do. Mm -hmm. And it, it got it all out of my head, all out of my subconscious onto the paper. And I don't have to worry about it anymore. I don't have to think about it because I know it's physically somewhere else. And I, I thoroughly recommend anyone who's gone through any trauma write it down because it is incredibly helpful to do that. You're, uh, you're amazingly strong. And just quickly, you know, to you, Kaylee, you're pretty new in all of this. Are you, are you watching out for yourself, not only your mental health after this, but your physical health too? Yes, I am. I've been following up. I had, you know, obviously you have to go get STD tested and then, um, you know, just your regular well checks and with COVID and everything. It's been hard to get in, but I have been following up with my doctor. Well, hopefully you've got a, a community out there um, that, yes. that are very supportive, especially people, all these people you don't know who are so you know supportive of you. I appreciate mm -hmm. all three of you for coming on tonight. Thank you, Mary Turner Thompson. Thank you, Kaylee Christina and Dr. Sharon Hayes. Appreciate all your insight. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.